Hey everybody, David Burns, a 60 second beekeeper. Today I wanna to show you how to do a powdered sugar mite test. Very reliable source to get a benchmark on how many mites your hives are running. And uh, you wanna keep the mite loads at least less than three mites per 100 bees. We're gonna find out how many mites this hive has. I'm gonna show you how to do the test in less than 60 seconds. You're gonna take a quart jar and uh, make a mark. Usually we usually take about a sample of a quarter cup or a half cup of bees. Gives us approximately two to 400 bees. I've already got my powdered sugar, so I've compensated so that that uh, half cup can give me the bees that I want to take a good sample. I'm going to pull out a brood frame, show you a technique of getting bees into this jar, and then we're going to shake the mites off in three, two, one. Let's do it. What you want to do first is take a frame that has brood on it, and I've already uh, looked at this one, and I can see brood on this. Make sure you don't have the queen on there. I've already inspected this colony for the queen. Take and just go backwards like this, and as you do, look how the bees just fall in. This is a technique that a lot of people don't realize that's very effective, uh, just getting bees to tumble into the jar. It doesn't hurt the bees. Just make them fall right in, and you can get your bees loaded up in there like this, that's about how many we need. Put the frame back in the hive. Put the cap on, which is nothing more than a canning jar cap with screen on it. Tumble the bees around in the powdered sugar. Get them coated really good like this. Doesn't hurt the bees, so don't be scared to give them a good shaking. They're all exoskeleton. And then once you do this for just, you might want to go a little bit longer. I'm showing you how to do it in 60 seconds, but you could do it like uh, tumble them around for two or three minutes if you need to. And then just start shaking and see if you can get mites to come off. And you can add a little water like this. And uh, if you add, an, add water, it will dilute the sugar and usually cause the mites to do some floating. And you can kind of take a look, see if there's any mites. And in this case, I still don't see any. Um, we have some potential of these little critters being mites, but that's not a mite. So in this case, this hive, believe it or not, was mite free. So that's awesome. Well, that's how you do your test in 60 seconds. Thanks for joining me. I'm David Burns, the 60 Second Beekeeper.